Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. If you're new to this channel, my name is Benjamin and you should subscribe. So before doing anything else, hit that sub button and then we can move on. All right, you've done that? Good, let's go. So in this video, I'm going to be building a searchable directory of no-code tools in under 10 minutes. Yes, that is right. I will try to time myself and complete it in under 10 minutes. What we're going to be building is a directory like this that is entirely searchable. And we are going to be building it on Bubble as this directory has been as well. So it will look uh, sort of like this, but without the category columns on the left side here. So just the boxes and the search box and the search functionality. And if you're wondering how I can do this in 10 minutes and how I will do it in 10 minutes, you should go check out my two first tutorials on how to create a searchable directory on no-code platforms and in our case, a no-code platform called babble.io. So go check those out. And when you watch them, come back here and see me hopefully complete this in 10 minutes. So all that I've done to prepare is created a new page in Bubble and name that page Directory YouTube. So that is it. Now it's time. Are you excited? I'm excited. So let's see, 10 minutes. Let's see if I can do it. All right, three. Oh, also I should say, I'm going to be quiet because if I am going to pull this off in under 10 minutes, I need to focus. And when I focus, I tend to be quiet. So yeah, just so you know. All right, three, two, one, vamos.
and their send of 10 minutes. Let's see what we have. All right, so we have the cards and uh, on hover, they showed this open new tab thing. Let's see if the search works. Bubble, bubble. Yes, look at that, the search works. Cool. And, and uh, yeah, it looks pretty nice. It has uh, scrolling like so. What I try to do, but realize I don't have time to do in 10 minutes, is that I try to put the uh, uh, tags of each card or each tool here down below. Also, I just realized that I put the wrong data here. So what we should do is we should put uh, parent groups YouTube description here, which is a very easy fix, probably because I was stressed. Boom. And what we get is this. So here are all the NoCo tools you will ever need in, in your life. And uh, I urge you to check out DraftBit. Really, really, really cool. Apart from that, Bubble is the best in my, in my view. Uh, and it's uh, what I use to build this one. So that's uh, what we can do in 10 minutes with a good workflow. And uh, I, I mean, I spent some time now to make it look good. So if you don't make it look good, you can do it in, in uh, maybe five minutes or maybe even less if you're really fast. So I just wanted to show you what's possible once you have a good workflow and you know how to use Bubble. And these no-code tools really, really are incredibly powerful when you know what you want to do, when you know how to do it, and if you have the data to use it in a reasonable way. So I'm incredibly excited about this, and you should be too. And if you are, I urge you to go to avalandlabs.co slash academy. Hopefully my internet works. Yes. I'm about to release a no code fundamentals course where we're going to walk through the steps of learning bubble from, from scratch and onwards and actually build useful stuff um, that can be products. So I want you to sign up for the waitlist. And I do this partly because I want to measure the demand. And if it turns out that there is too little demand, then I won't spend a huge amount of time creating the course. I might do a lighter version of it instead. So if you want this to come alive and if you really want to uh, take a little deep dive into Bubble especially and learn it from the ground up and see what's possible with it and what you could use it for, then please subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe so I can just know how much uh, this is needed in the market. So please do that. I'm really excited for it and hope you are too. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. And also, if you want a specific tutorial or want me to build something specific live, please uh, share that in the comment section. There are so many possibilities and opportunities. So I really just wanna know what you feel like I should be showing you how to create using these tools. So let me know what you think. Until next time, ciao.